no time. There are thousands of words in any language. Some of these words express actions. Other words name things. And some words join words to each other. When we put words together, we form sentences. The same word can be a noun in one sentence and a verb or adjective in another. Learning the eight parts of speech helps us understand the use or function of words. Knowing the parts of speech also shows us how words are joined together to help us communicate with one another. The eight parts of speech are noun, pronoun, verb, adjective, adverb, preposition, conjunction, and interjection. Each of the eight parts of speech explains how a word is used. Using them correctly helps us write and speak more precisely and helps us vary the kind of sentences we use. A noun is the name of a person, place, idea, or thing. Some nouns are called common nouns. These nouns name a general class or group of people, places, ideas, or things. Elephants are an endangered species. Elephants is a common noun. Species is also a common noun. She's decided to add some more color. The artist is painting a butterfly. Artist is a common noun. Butterfly is also a common noun. Many apartments are being built in our town. Apartments is a common noun. Town is also a common noun. There are also proper nouns. These nouns name a particular person, place, or thing and usually begin with a capital letter. The space needle has a flag on it. Space needle is a proper noun. Space needle is the name of a particular thing. Dave is fly fishing. Dave is a proper noun. Dave is the name of the person fishing. New York is an exciting place to visit. New York is a proper noun. New York is the name of a place. When you use the name of a particular person, place, or thing, you capitalize the first letter. A pronoun is a word used in the place of a noun. Like a noun, it may represent a person, place, idea, or thing. He is kayaking in rough waters. He is a pronoun. Instead of saying Josh or the man, we use he. They saw a replica of Captain Cook's ship. They is a pronoun. Instead of using the word people, which is a noun, we're using they, which is a pronoun. It was stacked on the back of the truck. It is a pronoun. Instead of using the word hay, 
we're using it. We sailed on the ocean. We is a pronoun. Instead of using the words our family to tell who sailed, the pronoun we is used. A verb is an action word. It says what the person, place, idea, or thing in a sentence is doing. The verb tells us what is happening. He flew through the air. Flew is the verb. It describes the action in the sentence. Sarah works in a factory. Works is a verb. It tells us what Sarah does. These machines harvest cotton. Harvest is a verb. Harvest describes what the machines are doing. Fish swim in the water. Swim is the verb. It tells us the action of the fish. An adjective is a describing word. It describes the noun or pronoun and makes it more specific. The water is inviting. Inviting is an adjective. It tells us something about the water. Baby animals are cute. Baby and cute are adjectives. They describe the noun animals. It is beautiful. Beautiful is an adjective. Beautiful describes the pronoun it. There is one Earth in our solar system. One is an adjective. It gives us information about the noun Earth. There is one. An adverb is a word that modifies or describes a verb, an adjective, or another adverb. These buildings are very tall. Very is an adverb. It modifies the adjective tall. He plays the bagpipes beautifully. Beautifully is an adverb. Beautifully describes the verb plays. The moon is shining brightly in the sky. Brightly is an adverb. It describes the shining of the moon. Otters move remarkably skillfully in the water. The adverb remarkably modifies the adverb skillfully. A preposition shows a relationship between a noun or a pronoun and another word in the sentence. <laughs> Balloons are in the air. In is a preposition. It tells us where the balloons are. We grow grapes on our farm. On is a preposition. On describes the relationship between the nouns grapes and farm. The rooster stays next to the hens. Next is a preposition. The word next helps describe the relationship between the noun rooster and the noun hens. The turtle swims through the water. Through is a preposition. It helps describe where the turtle swims. A conjunction is a word that joins two words or groups of words.
The band played loudly and clearly. And is a conjunction. It connects the adverb loudly with the adverb clearly. We climbed up high until we reached her crown. Until is a conjunction. Until connects the group of words we climbed up high with the group of words we reached her crown. My sister ran in a race, but she didn't win. But is a conjunction. It connects two clauses to form one sentence. Are these bats or birds? Or is a conjunction. It's used to connect bats and birds. Interjections are also called exclamations. They're words that are added to a sentence to convey emotion. Wow, the fireworks are great. Wow is an interjection. It's an expression of emotion. Look, the wind is being turned into electricity. Look is an interjection. Interjections are not grammatically related to any other part of the sentence. Oh, the flowers are beautiful. Oh is an interjection. It's a cry that can stand on its own. Hey, that saber-toothed tiger is huge. Hey is an interjection. It's an exclamation that gets our attention. The eight parts of speech, nouns, pronouns, verbs, adjectives, adverbs, prepositions, conjunctions, and interjections are essential building blocks of language. Here's a sentence that contains all eight parts of speech. Wow, they flew through the air and amazingly had a perfect landing. Let's find examples of the eight parts of speech in this sentence. Wow is an interjection. They is a pronoun. Flew is a verb. Through a preposition. Air, a noun. And, a conjunction. Amazingly, an adverb. And perfect is an adjective. All eight parts of speech in one sentence. The eight parts of speech help us understand the function of words and how words are joined together. This helps us communicate more effectively with each other.